All right, so we're back and now we're going to be uh, creating another object in the database and the, that object is called a query. Okay, so basically in other words, it's a question that you ask, ask the database uh, so you can pull certain types of information. Okay, okay so, uh, so we, we're going to create here, the create tab, the ribbon here, and our queries are or up on um, the side here. So what we're going to do is we're going to create uh, just a simple query. Uh, we, you can use the wizard. You can use the design view. We're, we're actually going to do the queries from design. So we'll go ahead and click query design. Okay, and pulls up this little dialog box here, and it lets us actually create queries from our tables or other existing queries. So uh, what we're going to do to begin with is we're going to create a query from our table. So the address book is selected. Go ahead and hit add and then we're going to close this box here. So we see that adds the uh, a box here that shows our table and all of the fields within our table. So we created these fields. So these are the different these represent the different fields in our table. So what we can do is we can add the fields to our query. So this is uh, this is the criteria down on the bottom here is going to be where our criteria go. So uh, so we want to see the last name. So we can double click the last name up here. It'll add it. Double click the first name. And uh, then we're going to create a query that's going to say so we want to know everybody that um, we'll go ahead and add the street address as well um, and city okay state zip and so what we want to do is we want to pull everybody that uh, so if we it, so we got all the, those criteria that are down here they're actually the, all the criteria uh, fields down below are blank so if we go ahead and hit run here see the little run with the exclamation point over farthest to the left there if we hit run it's going to go ahead and pull up our entire table so that's everybody in the table with just the fields that we have chosen okay so we go back the view here we're going to go back to the design view okay and we're what we're going to do from here is we're going to put a criteria in so i'm going to put the city uh, is going to be Payette, okay? And we see that it puts little uh, quotation marks around that. Uh, so now, since our criteria is, is Payette, we're actually asking it. We're going to say, hey, anybody that has the city of Payette, that's who I want you to pull up. So then we hit the Run button again. Sure enough, we have just two people in our database that are from Payette, and it pulls them up. Okay, so that's query number one. We can go ahead and uh, save that. We can go over here to File, Save As, Save Object, So because the query is an object. It's not the entire database, so with the Object As. We can go ahead and do that. And then we're going to change the name of our query one into, like, uh, we can say, uh, Payette underscore Q. So that's just a sign that it's a query there. Okay. So that's our first one. And we, we want to create another type of query. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and close this again and we'll start from the very beginning. Um, so I'm going to go up to create. I'm going to go to query design. And I'm going to go ahead and pull up the same address. Uh, book table there. Okay, close that box. So this time we're going to do it a little different. I want to actually do it by, uh, maybe I want to do it by city, everybody from Ontario with the birthday, with the birth month of November, for example. So this is how we're going to pull it up. So we're going to do last name, first name. Uh, let's go ahead and do city and birth month. Uh, let's throw the phone number in here just for kicks. And the birth month. Okay. So now 
again we we're gonna put uh, Ontario in here okay and our birth month is going to be November okay I, I, I'll, I capped all mine uh, it doesn't matter if it's capped or not uh, you can do capital and then lowercase for the the month whatever you want to do on that and so now I've got uh, Ontario November two types of criteria okay when you put them in the same line it's going to be an and criteria so I want everybody that's lives in Ontario and has the birth month of November okay so let's see what happens when you pull that up okay so we have two people so Sue Jones and Trisha Yogurt uh, are going to be those two and so um, so that's the end. So that's all you have to do. Just a, a real quick trick here. So we see our or down here. So or is, is the next uh, line under criteria. So what we can actually do is we can bump one of the criteria down. So let's say, for example, we're going to put November down here. So so what this how this reads is I want everybody that lives in Ontario or has a birthday in uh, November. So we'll see what the, what happens here when we hit the run button. Okay, so we see we got uh, Ontario, uh, but they have a birth month of January. That's okay because we just want Ontario or the birth month in November. So we see down here in Vail, they don't live in Ontario, but they do have November birth months. So this is the or statement. So you can kind of uh, layer your criteria, which I uh, I think is very useful when you're dealing with data. There's millions of ways to pull queries um, for anything that you can think of. Any question you can ask the data, you can you can write a query for. So so those are the queries, and then, and then of course we want to go ahead and save this one. Save object as uh, we're going to do this one as. Uh, Ontario underscore November something like that okay so that's gonna be our second query and so we got two queries uh, we're gonna come back and we're gonna show you how to do the reports here in just a uh, just a sec All right, we're back, and now we're going to show you how to create those reports. There's two reports that we need to make, one from a table and one from uh, one of the queries that you just made. Okay, so the report is another object. Uh, we can go up here into Create again. Okay, so in Create, we have a couple different options. We can create a table, uh, do a table design, um, and, and so... Or, or I'm sorry the report we can do a report design so we can build it from scratch basically or we can use the report wizard we're doing reports now so what we want to do is uh, let's go ahead and do a wizard to begin with so we're gonna do a, a wizard this time and the wizard is gonna be we're gonna use our table so this is the one we're gonna build with our data in the in the table we're gonna go ahead and hit report wizard okay we're gonna go ahead and bring all of our data across uh, and then we're going to kick back the ID. So we're, we don't want the ID in here. I uh, just really don't have enough room for everything, I don't think, in this report. So we're going to kick the ID back. Um, and then we're going to go ahead and go to Next. Okay, you can structure, you can actually group your data in different ways. We're not going to do that. You don't have to do that. I, I can show you that separately if you really want to learn it. Um, but we're going to go ahead and, and go to Next. Okay. Uh, you can sort your fields by, like, say, last name or by uh, city or, or or even by telephone number if you want to do that. We don't. We're not going to mess with that either. Uh, actually, let's throw in. Let's go ahead and do last name, and then we're going to go next. Tabular is what we want, and so we're going to keep that. We're going to switch since we have a lot of data. We're going to switch it to landscape view, so it'll all spread across there. Um, and we're going to call this address book underscore R for report finish. It's going to bring up a preview of the report. 
So that looks good. So it's spaced it all out nice and neat. It's pulling all the data from our table. All of them uh, ordered by last name since we put that sort in there. And so we've got that sort. Um, again, look up. You, you can go to... Uh, so this pulls it up in print preview. You can close the print preview. And this is basically the design view of our report. Where you can edit it. You can get it a different title. You can... Um, do all sorts of different things with the format of your report. Uh, not going to get any, into any of that. That's you know a whole separate thing. Um, but just so you know, in the different views, uh, report view is going to pull up the report. Uh, so you, it looks just like the report that you're going to print out. Print preview is actually the the step where you go and you're previewing what you're going to print if you want to start printing reports. Uh, layout view will help you move things around in your report so you can get everything spaced correctly and in the right spot. Uh, you're not able to add new fields or anything necessarily in layout view. But uh, the design view is what we're looking at right here. And that is that is where you add new um, uh, fields to your report, take them away, add all sorts of different content to the report. Uh, you can make it a little more dynamic. Um, so that's the design view. And so uh, so that's our one report. We've saved that. Um, so there she is. So we're going to go ahead and close this one and I'll show you how to do one more report. So this one is we're going to use a query uh, to make this. And really to the easiest way to do these if you got them set up and you don't have a lot of stuff going on is to go ahead and use the report wizard and so we're going to do that. I've done the one where I've selected Ontario um, or November I think is the one I had and so I'm going to go ahead and hit the report wizard and uh, I'm going to go ahead and add all the fields to this um, not necessarily you know I can sort by anything or group uh, like for example I could group by the city and so that could be a grouping that you could throw in there and I'll just show you how it looks here just to begin uh, it's not anything you have to do necessarily for the assignment but I just thought it would kind of be interesting since I do have more than one city in this report um, and then I'm gonna go ahead and order that by last name um, let's see so, and then it doesn't give you a tabular, so it's going to change it when you group things. So I'm going to go ahead and just put stepped on there. And I think it should be okay for the on the portrait view. Let's go ahead and check it out here. If not, I'll uh, redo it here. So this is, I'm going to name it here, the very last thing. I'm just going to put an R at the end and finish. Okay. Okay, and so, okay, now we see how it's grouping. Okay. And so we're, we're seeing the group here on the city field. It, this is the group header. If we go to the, uh, to the report, we can see it makes a header for that city to go into. And then the detail is going to throw in all of the actual detail of the people within the city. And so as we look at it, we see the Ontario and then it's grouped by by all the people within that city. So that's kind of what the grouping does with your, there's all sorts of different things. You can put equations into your reports to calculate things and and all sorts of different things going on with the reports. But those are some basics to help you um, get your reports out. And um, if there's any questions, feel free to contact me and I can walk you through the databases. Uh, access is, is one of my favorites for sure. And, and um, I can, hopefully help you with anything that you um, have a question with.